Have you heard of Generation Genius? It's a standards-based science, online science curriculum, which we like to use for our homeschool. Now we don't use it every day, and we don't use all the lessons, but whatever seems organic and seems to fit with our what we're learning, then I like to go into Generation Genius and see how we can incorporate some of those science activities into our everyday um, learning. So uh, why don't you come with me and take a look to see how we use Generation Genius. All right, here is the Generation Genius website. It is a science and math standards-based program for K through eighth grade. And we've been using it for a couple of years now. And I don't use it all the time. I just, whenever I feel like we can incorporate some science, I, I look on Generation Genius and see what I can find. The pricing plan, they have three different pricing plans for home. Um, one is for both science and math another just for science, and then another just for math. We do have both science and math, but I think we only, we've only we only been using science. But I just have the math just in case my son needs extra help on a topic. All right, so um, let's look up um, a science activity. We are studying, doing a deep dive about the California gold rush. So I figured learning about the rock cycle would be an excellent start. And if you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit that like because that helps out a lot and leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. All right, so rock cycle. And I did look at this earlier and I plan on doing this rock cycle lesson which is geared for older kids I think middle school but my oldest son is advanced and I can easily scaffold down for my little ones I have a preschooler and a kindergartner kindergartner <laughs> all right so as you can see we have discussion questions there's a video obviously and there's discussion questions we have vocabulary words and if you have any questions about any of the material that I use or would like it if I um, dove a little deeper into certain topics or books or whatever, you know, let me know and I'll make a video about that for you. Here we have reading material for, I would have my older, oldest son read this. I would not have, I would not read it to my kids because my little ones because they would not want to listen so I would maybe um, read through it and summarize for them but I think they would get a lot out of the video already so this is just additional information um, we have discussion questions that I can go over with my kids or my son um, we have a DIY activity guide which I will probably do with the kids because I think this is the crystal the one with creating crystals yeah so we would um, watch this video and create our own crystals using borax and I know my kids would really love it maybe in the future we'll do um, uh, an experiment with sugar making rock candy it's always fun but this one we would keep in display um, oh, we also have a lesson plan which has to do with sand looking at sand and um, I, we would go to the beach and do this and collect some sand and bring our little miniature microscopes, pocket microscopes. And I'll have a link down in the bio, or not, down in the description with, um, um, everything that I may be talking about, like those pocket microscopes. So I would probably also do another activity with my kids at the beach where we would collect rocks and then... Um, categorize them into the three different types of rocks. And if you're new here, my name is Suen and I'm from the homeschool front. And I am a mama of three. I've been homeschooling for six years, maybe more, I don't know. And I used to be a history teacher and I have a blog on the homeschool front and obviously this channel here. All right, so we have a teacher's guide, which is great if you are not familiar with the material. I do have 
a credential in earth science, but it has been many, many years and I never really used it. So I only taught history. We also have assessments here. Um, we have, you can do a Google form assessment, three different types. Um, oh, the games, this would be fun to play a game, kind of like a quiz game. And we have challenge questions. I would have my son, my oldest son do this because he does have to submit to work for his charter school. And we have exit tickets, which maybe I'll do with the little kids. Uh, so there you have it. Generation Genius, what do you think? Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because I do have um, several homeschooling 101 videos coming up as well as other content because um, I know that a lot of you are early planners and you're already buying those textbooks and those, those curriculums. So uh, I just wanted to share what we've been using and what we love. Until next time. Mm -hmm.